So my tattoo artist is Horitomo from Japan who works at State of Grace. And I was at the Asian Art Museum in San Francisco. Friends of mine had brought me to um, a show there that was about uh, the history of the Japanese tattoo. And the State of Grace had put together the show. And I went there, they were just tattooing people on the spot. I looked at the process, I thought it was really interesting, and realized that it was something that I wanted to do. I um, I'd had a couple tattoos before, very small ones. I had never done anything of this size. I didn't really know what to expect. I went in to the shop to make an appointment, found out that there was a wait list of almost two years. Kind of at that time was like, wow, that seems so far away. Didn't really know if I wanted to wait that long, but everybody was telling me, if you're gonna do this and you're gonna do it this big, it's worth the wait, especially for to have Horitomo do your work, or to do my work, sorry. So I um, signed up and I went in and talked to them. They asked me what I wanted. At the time, I really didn't have any idea. Just kind of threw out the word warrior because it seemed like something to say. I didn't know what else to say at the time. And left and started to think about what I really wanted and came up with the idea of getting a tattoo of a turtle on my back. Uh, originally the piece was only gonna go from my shoulders down to just like under my belt line. But once I was working with Horitomo on the artwork, he suggested that I throw in the cranes as well as the turtle. So he came up with this amazing piece for me, which extended the size of my tattoo. So it ended up going from my shoulders down past my arms and then over my back and down mid thigh, I guess. So that's how I ended up with the tattoo this size. It was an interesting experience. I opted for the traditional method. Um, the outline is done with a tattoo machine and then the rest of the shading is hand poked. It was easier for me to deal with the pain. I was able to kind of breathe through it, I guess. I don't know any other way to describe it. I tense up with the sound of the machine. It reminds me of a dentist. So for me, the hand shading was perfect. Due to my lack of Japanese, basically, there was very little communication between the two of us. So it almost became like a three hour session of just I guess almost meditating. The tattoo itself was right around the time that I had turned 40, so it was also a belated 40th birthday present to myself. When I look back now at all the commitment between the time of traveling, because I live in San Francisco, so I had to travel to San Jose, in the healing process as well, it, it's a, it takes a while, but all of it was worth it. You know, there are many times in my life where I thought about getting little tattoos and different things, but I'm glad that I waited, so I, I guess I recommend that people wait until they're older um, because you, give, you have an opportunity to get an amazing piece of art without the interference of other tattoos um, that kind of limit what the artist can work with. So overall it's been an amazing experience and I would do it again if, uh, if I had to. In fact, I'm thinking of extending it to the front, but we'll see.